return of Deshaun Watson. Uh, Deshaun Watson makes his season premiere after an 11 game suspension for assault <laughs> assaulting 26 women and more. Um, in Houston, and this game to me is a trap for many reasons. For one thing, John, Deshaun Watson hasn't played in two years. Right. He's going to have the people who sued him in the audience. Is he? Yes. There are <laughs> multiple women who accused him in the audience in Houston. Oh, they're going Donald Trump style when he brought Bill Clinton's accusers <laughs> to the front of the debate with Hillary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so... Right now, Texans are seven-point underdogs. Browns, for me, I know the Texans are really bad. They're going to get the number one overall pick. But this is a trap game. I like the Texans to cover. Um, Deshaun Watson hasn't played. I know he's been in practice for a number of weeks. But this game, this is this has trap written all over it. I don't... It's hard to me. It's hard for me to see how the Browns win this game when Deshaun Watson hasn't played in two years. We really don't know what Deshaun Watson we're gonna get. If it comes down to a key moment, really don't trust it. Um, the Houston Texans came alive a little bit in the fourth quarter. They were getting destroyed by the Dolphins, then they came up, got 15 points, so they feel good about themselves going to this game. They don't feel great because they get blown out and dominated for three quarters of the game. But they're like, hey, I mean, we got 15 points, then shut them out in the fourth quarter when they bench Joe. That's fine. But in this game, I feel like this is Seattle with Russell Wilson. <laughs> it's one of those situations where this guy asked for a trade before all the stuff came out about his accusers. There's some serious bad blood going on between Deshaun Watson and Houston. And if there's a worse first game for him, it's definitely against Houston because they have every reason to want to beat him. There's a best game for the NFL it's definitely this game so this is going to be the most interesting Texans game you mentioned how a lot of Texans had it circled on their calendar but it's like how do you feel Deshaun Watson's going to play because I have no idea but my gut feeling is that he's going to suck for a few games yeah I don't see him being I don't see him being effective because like for one thing he doesn't have the rapport with his receivers um he doesn't have the synchrony that is required for playing at a high level in the NFL. And that's like in the fourth quarter is what he means. Like, yes, he'll be able to complete passes, but like on th critical third downs, he's not going to know where to go. That's all we mean. Yeah, exactly. I think, and then not only that, for the Texans, I know that they suck, right? But at the same time, another thing that we really need to consider, it's called the Cleveland Brownisms. The Cleveland Browns, right? <laughs> Despite... 26 accusers, despite him being basically almost exempt from the NFL for life. Right. The Browns are like, you know what? Let's trade for this guy. And let's give him the first fully, well, actually not the first because Kirk Cousins was, but a fully guaranteed contract. What could go wrong? I guess it remains to be seen how this will go. Also gives up a shit ton of first round picks. Well, can I put it past the Browns for them to... Go in first game with Deshaun Watson, going into Houston with his accusers in the crowd. Yeah. And lose to the Texans? Absolutely. That is so Browns. This is the most Browns game I could possibly see. Yeah. Deshaun Watson's definitely going to have to massage himself back into a rhythm um, playing in these games. 